Diamonds are rare crystals composed mostly of carbon. They're the hardest natural substance on Earth. A superb cut manipulates light to maximize a stone's brilliance. That enhances the diamond's beauty and increases its value. Diamonds come in a variety of colors, the most common of which for jewelry is white. They begin as a larger, rough stone. The goal is to cut as big a diamond as possible from it while cutting away any imperfections that lessen the value. To do this precision work, master diamond cutters use a magnifying glass that enlarges the stone 10 times. They carefully examine and re-examine the rough diamond, trying to determine the best way to divide the stone. They must saw the diamond in the direction of its grain. Then, using hot glue, secure the rough diamond into a holder positioned over the saw. The saw has a very fine bronze blade, but it can't cut through the diamond on its own. Only diamond can cut diamond, so they coat the blade in a mixture of diamond dust and oil. Sawing an average size rough diamond in two can take up to four hours. The second stage of diamond cutting is called polishing. It's the process of forming the diamond. A special machine first tailors the basic shape. Then the diamond cutter puts glue in a mounting tool called a dot. This will hold the diamond firmly in place. He presses the diamond against a spinning cast iron wheel coated with a mixture of diamond dust and oil. First, he removes any marks that were left by the saw. Then, to give the stone its brilliance, he forms facets, a particular pattern of tiny flat sides of various shapes. The facets are designed to reflect light off each other. Each one must be exactly the right size and shape, and cut at precisely the right angle in relation to the other facets to create maximum brilliance. Here, he starts with the table facet, which is the flat top of the diamond. How he proceeds depends on the size and condition of the stone. Then come the pavilions, the angled facets that end in a point at the bottom of the diamond. If they're cut too deep or too shallow, light will leak out the bottom, making the diamond dark in the center and dull overall. The ideal slope is approximately 42 degrees. The diamond cutter uses specialized tools to measure the angle. Next, the diamond cutter fashions crown facets the one circling the diamond directly under the table. Using another type of dop, the diamond cutter fashions what's called the girdle, the faceted rim that separates the crown facets around the top half of the diamond and the pavilion facets below. Diamonds are weighed using a measurement called carats. One carat weighs 0.007 ounces. Polishing a one carat diamond can take three or four hours. When it's done, they boil it in acid to remove any debris. This finished diamond has 58 facets. It's called a brilliant cut. It's by far the most common style of cut dating back to the 1600s. The quality of the cut is a key factor in grading diamonds. Experts also rate what's called the clarity, the degree of imperfections in the stone. Then there's color. The finest white diamonds are completely colorless, and the rarest colors are the most valuable.